you've dreaded this year's arrival, but it has come just the same. A year full of promise, but so many last times. Over the years, you have helped with countless team meals, washed mounds of sweaty uniforms, and chauffeured to more early morning practices than you care to remember. You have been top of the world elated when your son has had a good night and endured his death-like silences when he hasn't. Isn't it amazing how the family mood bobs with the rhythm of each game? You have laughed, cried, screamed, sulked, pouted, pulled your hair, bit your nails, bit your tongue, paced, worried, shouted, frowned, and smiled, all very gracefully and within a two-hour span. Such is the life of a football mom. You may not be in on the big play, but you still feel the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat right along with your son. You keep your composure when some fan behind you wants your son's head while the opponent on the field is mashing it into the grass. Get off him! That's my baby, you'd like to shout. You breathe football at this time of year, especially when your heart whispers just a little longer as the season slides by. You plead and bargain knowing full well that some other mother from the opponent's team is making her own deal with the Almighty. But you do it anyway because you no more want it to end than your son does. You do not want to see the desperation in his eyes and the pain on his face as he struggles to put away his childhood dreams. You are helpless in the stands with no way to make it better. Is it worth it? You bet it is. Every lost game sock and busy Friday night, every recovering Saturday, every aspirin, every ruined hairdo, hot bath, goose bump, and every obnoxious fan and sports writers you've ever had to tolerate is worth it. The fun isn't measured by how many times your son gets into the newspaper or the game or what he does when he gets there. The fun is everything that really matters. What makes those trips to the ER for the pigskin stitches all worthwhile is watching a game, a sports experience that converts your little boy into a young man, watching him tackle the world and you have a front row seat. You still see that rambunctious five-year-old playing football in the yard. You bite your lip and hold back the tears because though you are fiercely proud of the young man he has become, you miss the boy. In fact, you mourn for all the little boys. You have watched them all grow up together, plot and scheme together, win and lose together. They have raided your kitchen, camped out in your basement, and stole your heart. They are blessed with something they will never have again. They know it, and you know it. We will miss this group of young men. We will miss watching them run onto the field like soldiers going to battle, the high fives after a great play, the chest slams after a great tackle, the celebrations over a big win, and the sober faces after a disappointing loss. We will miss watching the boys we love play the game they love. The thing I'm gonna miss most about Alter Football is the relationships I've formed with all my brothers on the team. The thing I'm going to miss most about Alter Football are those memories off the field, bus rides after wins, and the energy in the locker room. The thing I'm going to miss most about Alter Football is walking around on Thursday nights to play Fairmont. The thing I'll miss most about Alter Football is hanging out with the Wolfpack every day. Three. The thing I'm going to miss the most about Alter Football is the weightlifting and the motivation we give each other. The thing I want to miss most about Alter Football is the brotherhood and the family. Team, to be a senior is to lead. You will forever be a part of the Alter Football family. Mm -hmm.